Hey guys, we're here again today at Vengeance Racing. We've got my good friend Ron Mallon here. Good, good to see you, man. Chris. Always. Great to be back. So, kind of had the car here at the shop for a couple months and did some, some upgrades here. Obviously, last time we had the car in, we did a walk around, overview of the build, and basic things the headers, cam, uh, got the BMW Fusion exhaust in there. Did the, the MGW shifter, we got the, the Toyos, tires and wheels. Um, that's basic stuff. We've gone through that. I'd like to take a minute and go with Ron through the car just for a second, what they've done this time over what we've done previously. Just talk about the bottom end, the blower, some fuel, things of that nature. So, what have you guys done for us this time? Well, Chris, uh, to feed your beautiful fiance's uh, horsepower needs, we decided to pull the factory short block out and stroke it to 416 cubic inches. We added a uh, Cali's Magnum Series 4 inch crankshaft, uh, Cali's 6125 forge rods. Uh, Wiseco custom forged pistons to our specs, a uh, set of our Vengeance Racing CNC'd LT1 cylinder heads, uh, did custom Vengeance valve covers, uh, painted the intake to dress up the engine bay a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Come take a look at this. This is incredible. I mean, these, this work is great. I mean, you guys did the coil relocation yeah, as part yeah. of the, the valve cover accentuation because, you know, the way it is set up under a stock car, I mean, the covers would conceal everything. Yeah, so. the covers hot a lot. Uh, all the plastic covers, they also hold heat in the engine bay, so we like to dress it up and get the heat out. I think most notably you'll see a Novi 2200R supercharger system over there. Uh, right now we're on... Uh, pump gas on about 14 PSI and it's, it's making a, a very easy 907 wheel horsepower. Uh, yeah, that's an upgrade over the 1500. The, the 1500 blower was great. I mean, there was nothing wrong with it. it, it shoot, we even did a peak pull of, I think you got well over 800. We got yeah, 830s. 8, 830, 840. Right, so the wheels off the, the 1500 blower. So it wasn't that we were displeased with that. It was just the, the, the head swap was basically just a cut over and then a tap the block for the wool, correct? Correct. So, so it's pretty simple, just go ahead and upgrade to the 2200 blower, decided we'd go ahead and throw that in when they're doing the, the engine work. Obviously the bottom end is rated to handle the 2200 or more. Uh, absolutely, yeah, we're, we're safe to 12, 1500 horsepower pretty easily. Right, so figure we go ahead and do the, the, the blower swap. Now I guess the next thing is our, our fuel issue, you guys addressed that as well a little bit? We did, obviously with the horsepower that we're making, we needed to supplement the fuel system a little bit. Uh, with the introduction of the 2015 Z06, we were able to take uh, the LT4 fuel injectors and the LT4 mechanical fuel pump and retrofit those onto the Stingray. Uh, quite a bit of tuning involved with that, but we do have ample fuel system now for the power that we're making. Right, and then the dual methanol injection is still able to utilize that yeah, to absolutely. a degree. And so that, that keeps us safe. You said timing and, and where we're at on boost. I mean, obviously this is just a extremely reliable setup. It's not volatile. It's good for daily driving. Yeah, we're again, we're on 93 octane with meth. We've got 14 pounds of boost. We're at 19 degrees total timing. Uh, the car is extremely safe. It, it's built to take a whole lot more, and we, we don't expect to have any issues out of this car at all. Yeah, the drivability is incredible. Just started it up for the first time, took a quick little spin with it. Um, I was extremely impressed with the, the crisp startup. I mean, it, it's really, really smooth. Uh, then, you know, the takeoff, we, we had to do a clutch swap on it to be able to handle the power to the yeah. wheels, and I was extremely impressed with that. Generally, aftermarket clutches can be kind of sketchy sometimes, and, and this one is butter. I really enjoyed it. You want to kind of talk on the clutch just a little bit? Uh, the clutch is Monster's new uh, LT1R, I believe, offering for the C7. Uh, it's a twin disc. Uh, a little bit aggressive on startup. Uh, as it breaks in, it seems to continually get better as far as engagement goes. Uh, extremely soft pedal, uh, excellent drivability once you're rolling. And again, I think once we get a few more miles on the brake in, the, the, the first gear starts to be awesome as well. But uh, great clutch so far. It's going to hold the power. Uh, obviously, this 416, you got about 100 pound foot of torque over what you had at any given RPM. So uh, we, we had to upgrade the clutch to support that kind of torque and power down low. Yeah, definitely. The torque number is what I really noticed. Obviously, we got, got a good horsepower number out of it. But like you mentioned, over the curve, the torque was just yeah. so much better over what we had previously with the, the, you know, the stock bottom end and the 1500 blower. So this will do a quick start up, just let you guys hear it. I mean, it's, it's great. Really love the sound.
great startup, smooth idle. You just can't beat that for such a you know, you know, aggressive build with, with you know, just great drivability, great idling, everything's solid. So, Ron, I appreciate you and the guys. Y'all are always class. first class operation here. And obviously, Jay's put a lot of work into what we see here. This isn't just your, your daily bolts on job here. He put a lot of custom work and effort into really? making this right. So, I definitely did. Yeah, appreciate all you guys' help. Uh, everything was, was world class. As you can see, the facility is just incredible. So couldn't ask for a better team. If you guys are even thinking about just small bolt-ons, mail order parts, or full custom bumper to bumper build, I mean, they do everything here in house. Even was able to, to knock out the clear bra installation while we were here. Figured we had a little extra time, go ahead and get that taken care of. And it's, it's incredible, just the, the, the finish is great. So really appreciate everything, turnkey operation, and, and hopefully we'll see you guys again in a soon at an event and we can, we can see what this car's capable of. That's what I'm looking forward right. to. Thanks, buddy. Chris, thank you, thanks. buddy.